Hey guys, Sylvia here and I am back with a luxury unboxing video. Probably one of my favorite videos now and I never used to film them before, but now I'm having fun with them. I feel like now that I film these, I actually realize that I buy bags way more often than I thought. I feel like I'm filming one of these like once a month. It's crazy anyways, I need to stop. So here we have it. It has the holiday version of the Camilla flower, which is actually plastic. It's not like that squishy soft one, which is cool. That's actually really cool. I could use this to like decorate or something like that. I had seen this bag on Instagram just before the holidays. So I texted my sales associate over at Chanel and of course it was sold out at the store that she was at. So she had to hunt for it again. I feel like I'm always making her do work. Like every single bag I want, she's been hunting for every single time. I wasn't even sure if I was going to get it. She said that she would try to find it for me and then I went off to Ottawa for the holiday. And I think it was just like, I think a day or two before Christmas when she texted me and told me that she was able to find the bag and they were going to ship it over. I have a table in front of me now so we can unbox it together. So we're going to take off this. Here's the box again with another Camilla flower and a little bow. My receipt is right here. Okay, I'm gonna try a new angle than my other unboxing videos just so you guys can maybe see the box a little bit better. You guys can see it. Okay, let me just take off this last portion here. <gasps> okay, so as you can see, I got the beautiful classic medium large flap in a white caviar with light gold hardware. I feel like I need to like wash my hands before I touch this or something. The perfect white Chanel bag is something that I've actually been looking for for quite a while now. And by perfect, I mean the right shade of white, the right leather, and also the right hardware. So several years ago, I had decided that I did want to get a white designer bag in my collection since I did not have one yet. But obviously white being a very risque color, especially when you're spending thousands of dollars on a bag, it's not the most obvious choice being that there is a lot of potential that it would get dirty very easily. So I gave myself a little bit of a test. I had bought a white YSL bag a few years back because it was a lot cheaper than buying obviously a Chanel bag. So I could justify a white designer bag on something that was a little less expensive. <laughs> and then about a year ago, I was like, I've done a good job in keeping this white YSL bag white, so I think that I'm ready to level up. And around the same time, my friend had just come back from Paris where she found a beautiful off-white Chanel bag. It was like a very light gray beige color and it was gorgeous. I think it was nice enough to pass off as a white or light colored bag while still not being starch white. And then my other friend had bought a like white white Chanel bag secondhand and I noticed that the condition of it wasn't bad at all meaning that the person who owned it before didn't have too much trouble keeping it clean but I knew it had to be caviar leather. Caviar leather is just way more durable, it holds up a lot better, it cleans a little easier as well and I also already had that Chanel uh, classic beige Claire bag which was part of the classic colors along with black until they discontinued it and I never had an issue with keeping that clean so I knew it had to be a caviar leather and then over the next year or so I saw some Chanel bags come in that were white but they were mostly either calf skin or lamb skin which was a no-go for me. I also hadn't seen Chanel release a white caviar bag in a really long time so I was kind of getting to the point where I felt a little bit hopeless about having the perfect white bag come through. But then the Chanel gods prevailed. They brought me the perfect white colored caviar leather and then blessed me with light gold hardware. I had always felt like I wanted a white bag with silver hardware just because I felt like it was a little bit more versatile than the gold. However, this is actually way better because the light gold can pass with silver jewelry just as much as it can pass with gold jewelry. So it's a nice in-between that can really go either way. All right, let's take a little peek on the inside, although obviously it's just a classic flap it's not going to change much from the other one so it is a double flap as you can see two flaps going on here and then of course you just have the interior with the two pockets this one was made in France I don't know if you guys can see that it might be too bright and then oh my makeup just got on it oh it wiped off really easily thank god oh Wow, okay, so don't put my face up against this bag. I feel like that whole situation that just happened is going to be a very frequently occurring reaction. The only thing that kind of sucks with the white bag is that when you fold this up, you can see the creases a lot more 
than a typical black one so it gets wrinkly right here this caviar feels actually um softer than my other caviar bags the structure doesn't feel as hard it's much more soft all right let me show you guys what it looks like on so the long strap just like this love it shorter strap and like this I know for most people they aren't able to wear this cross body but because I have no boobs it lays flat on me and I'm a little bit shorter and smaller I can actually pull it off with a cross body it sits a little bit higher than a usual cross body but I kind of like where it sits yes and if you stuck this far it's probably because you want to know the price so in this little receipt envelope here in Canadian pricing uh, it was six thousand eight hundred and twenty five dollars before tax I try to honestly just like block that on my head honestly I feel like you get to the point where like we shouldn't be charged tax on things that are already this expensive <laughs> Anyways, so that will probably be the last classic flap I'll be buying for a while. The price keeps going up on these classic flaps, man. So if you guys want a classic flap, I suggest you to buy it ASAP because it's only getting more and more every single year. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm so excited to wear this bag. Ooh, and then also a little bit nervous, but mostly excited. I hope you guys had fun unboxing this with me. Let me know in the comments below if you guys would ever buy a white designer bag. And I will speak to you guys very soon. See ya.